to get here. Ladies and gents, will you please give it up for the 23rd Prime Minister of Australia, Mr Robert James Lee Hawke. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for that uh, very warm welcome. Uh, there are many things I'm patron of and uh, charitable organisations with which I'm associated, but I can say with all honesty that uh, none gives me greater pleasure, Jack, than to be the patron of the great work that you and Jackie do. Uh, I always say these uh, meetings, uh, and I love Jack Newton, when I think of an Australian, you know, I think of Jack Newton. Courage unlimited. <laughs> Courage unlimited. Uh, no bullshit. A thoroughly decent man who has dedicated his life, which was saved in the most unusual of circumstances. Uh, and I say that because uh, I hadn't been Prime Minister long when the accident happened and I, of course, went straight to the hospital and the doctor said, I don't know that we're going to go out to save him, PM. He's got two things going for him. He's unbelievably strong and he's got Jackie. And uh, those two things uh, worked, of course, to save that marvellous life for which we're all uh, terribly grateful, Jack, because you have been and continue to be a great Australian citizen. Now, I've established a, a bit of a, a tradition here of singing the... Uh, Blossom and Matilda, because that's the essence of uh, you know, Australian nationalism and uh, associated with Jack. But I usually tell a couple of stories, so I won't let you down this time. <laughs> you know, just before I tell you a, a, a couple of these stories, it's a very interesting sociological fact. I could keep you entertained for an hour with funny stories about golf and cricket. But I have never heard a funny story from any code of football. Have you? <laughs> it's, it, it's very, very strange. Um, there's a sort of semi-religious golf one. I, I don't know whether I've told this one here before, but uh, I'll tell it again at any rate. It's uh, Jesus and Moses are playing golf. And uh, come to the long par four. They both hit good drives up short of the lake. They've got to head across the lake. And Jesus is shaving up to hit across the lake. And Moses says, hey, Jesus, what are you hitting? And Jesus says, nine iron. He says, you can't play with a nine iron. And Chuck Nicholas does. So Jesus hit, goes into the water. He says to Moses, he says, go and pass the water and get the ball, Moses. So Moses passes the water, goes and brings it back and Jesus lining up again. Moses says, what are you hitting? He says, nine iron. He says, no. Goes into the water again. So he says to Moses, go and part of the water. He says, oh, walk out and get it yourself. <laughs> so, so, so Jesus walks out, gets the ball, and he's walking back, and there's a group coming up behind them. And so, <laughs> who does this bloke think he is? Jesus of Christ. And Moses says, no, he thinks he's Jack Nicholas. <laughs> Okay, the time has come. I will sing the verses, uh, sing the verses, and you will sing the chorus. Once a jolly swagman camped by the billabong under the shade of a cool about tree, and he sang as he watched and waited till his billy was. You'll come a waltzing, my 
Matilda with me. Oh, old Saint Matilda, oh, old Saint Matilda, he'll come, oh, old Saint Matilda with me. And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boy. You come, oh, old Saint Matilda with me. Up came a jumbuck to drink at the billabong. Up jumped the swagman and grabbed him with glee, and he sang as he shoved that jumbuck in his tucker bag. You come a waltzing Matilda with me, old oh, sing Matilda, old oh, sing Matilda. You come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he shoved that jumbuck in his tucker bag. You come a waltzing Matilda with me. Up rode the squatter, mounted on his sorrel bread. Up rode the troopers, one, two, three. Oh, where's that jolly jumbuck you've got in your tucker bag? You come a waltzing Matilda with me. Oh, waltzing Matilda, waltzing oh, Matilda. You come a waltzing Matilda with me. Where's that jolly jumbuck you've got in your tucker bag? You come a waltzing Matilda with me. Up jumped the swagman and jumped into the billabong. You'll never take me alive, said he. And his goat may be heard as you pass by that billabong. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Oh, waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me, and his goat may be heard as you pass by that billabong. You come a waltzing Matilda. Keep it going for Bob Hawke, ladies and gents. <laughs> what an absolute legend. How good would it be to have an inappropriate Prime Minister right now? Someone who's not friggin' politically correct. <laughs> That's what Australia's about. Great stuff, Bob. Uh, still holds the record, I believe, for sculling a yard glass and uh, all that sort of Aussie stuff that we love. Great stuff, Bob. Thank you so much for contributing to our wonderful event. <laughs> Jamal, I don't think you're needed for tomorrow night. Actually, you know, some Irish jokes thrown in there. <laughs> Nothing left. <laughs> he pinched some of your jokes. And you can use some of those, Vince, uh, tonight. Uh, Bob's given you the OK, the authority to do that. That's wonderful. Ladies and gents, speaking of which, without any further ado, uh, this gentleman pretty much travels the world.